everyone and welcome to the F1 corner after the qualifying session of the Austrian Grand Prix one week after the Styrian Grand Prix at the same track the Red Bull Ring and, in, and it is another pole position for Max Verstappen and Red Bull lots of things to talk about today including a McLaren on the front row a Williams in Q3 and the Mercedes starting in a pretty bad position so before we get started, please remember to smash the like button and to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any update regarding this Austrian Grand Prix and any update regarding the whole 2021 Formula 1 season. So we start with Q3 as usual. We're out Nikita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Nicolas Latifi, Esteban Ocon and Kimi Raikkonen. No big surprises uh, for the last two places. The two Haas are still struggling and will probably be until the end of the season. Nicolas Tatifi, uh, P18 only, still uh, having trouble to match the pace of his teammate George Russell. Uh, will be fighting once again at the back, probably with the Haas, like we've seen uh, in recent races. Esteban Ocon, uh, really having trouble in the last uh, two three races. Uh, since he signed his contract uh, for another three years at Alpine, it seems like his pace has gone away. And incidentally, uh, coincidence or not, I don't know, Fernando Alonso is really getting a grip with uh, the car and really improving on his side. So uh, there is something going on at Alpine. Uh, I don't know what. Is it the, just the drivers? Is it just the tracks? Uh, suddenly suiting more some of the driver i don't know but uh, for esteban it is pretty disappointing kimi raikkonen 16 once again missing out on q2 uh, compared to teammate antonio giovinazzi qualifying is an area where kimi has struggled quite a bit this season so far he's good in the race but uh, starting farther in the back will not help you in the race so uh, raikkonen of course, not missing by much, only a few one hundredths of a second, but still it is out in Q1 and not where he would want to be. So, we'll start in 16th place for the race tomorrow, Kimi Raikkonen. 17 will be Esteban Ocon, followed by Nicolas Tatifi, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin closes the grid. Q2. So, we're out. Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Daniel Ricciardo, Fernando Alonso, and Antonio Giovinazzi. And no, you are not dreaming, you are seeing George Russell in P10. He made it into Q3, stunning lap. We'll get to that uh, in a few more minutes. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Antonio Giovinazzi, 15. Cannot expect much more from this Alfa Romeo, uh, but still out-qualifying teammate Kimi Raikkonen once again. Fernando Alonso, infuriated, furious at the end of his lap. He was impeded by Sebastian Vettel, who was on his uh, in-lap. And there were rules uh, this weekend that you cannot uh, slow down during the last two corners of the track. Uh, to give you space and it seems like Vettel was slowing down unnecessarily in those corners. Uh, Sebastian is meeting with his two words right now, might get a penalty and probably will uh, if you see uh, what happened to Bottas last week. I think uh, Vettel was even more, uh, not Bottas, but Tsunoda, sorry. And uh, I think Vettel was even more obvious than um, than what we saw last week, but uh, for Alonso, it and it's an inevitable outing in Q2. He could maybe have made it into Q3. Who knows? Um, maybe this is the reason why George Russell made it there. But uh, yeah, very disappointing for Fernando and f infuriating more than anything else. Daniel Ricciardo struggling once again at the Austrian track. He had a bad quality last week, bad race last week, and today only P13. Uh, the McLaren trying to get into Q3 on the medium tire because this is the one that all the teams favored for the race. Uh, the fact that he could not make it um, is very disappointing. Lando Norris made it easily into Q3. Uh, Ricardo will have some homework 
to do. The two Ferraris, disappointing, but maybe not too much. We know they don't have a lot of pace, but uh, the fact that they tried to get into Q3 on the medium tire did not succeed. At least this will allow them to have a free choice of tire uh, for the race tomorrow compared to if they were trying to go on the soft tire um, then they would have no choice but to start with those tires tomorrow at least they can uh, choose whatever they want and uh, let's uh, mention George Russell uh, already here made it into P10 with the medium tire not even the soft very very good result meaning that tomorrow George can start with the medium tire and is not forced to take the soft and which will, will help him a lot during that race and there is a very very strong chance of Williams scoring some points uh, during the race tomorrow they really deserve it and I'm sure every Formula 1 fan wishes to Williams to score points after uh, a very disastrous uh, few seasons in the last uh, few years so We'll start in 11th place tomorrow, Carlos Sainz followed by teammate Charles Leclerc at Ferrari, Daniel Ricciardo 13, Fernando Alonso 14, and Antonio Giovinazzi in 15th. And finally, Q3, on pole Max Verstappen followed by Lando Norris by merely 5 tenths of a second, Lando Norris almost getting his first uh, pole position, I said 5 tenths, I meant 5 one hundredths of a second. Sergio Perez in third and Red Bull will be very happy with this starting grid as Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas start no better than P4 and P5. Uh, Hamilton just signed a new contract, two years extension at Mercedes and uh, this is not the gift that he would have wanted. P4 tomorrow during the race uh, knowing that the Red Bull are quick and that the, Mer the McLaren have very good straight line speed. Uh, it will be a tough race tomorrow for Mercedes to uh, make up some ground on uh, the two Red Bulls and uh, McLaren. Um, but let's go uh, at the bottom now. Lance Stroll P10. Uh, surprising, I think, here it, to see that he was not able to be fastest than the Williams of George Russell. Uh, George Russell, again, Great, great, great performance here, starting P9, I think. Uh, even in their wildest dream, they would not have imagined that at Williams. Uh, Sebastian Vettel here, P8, but a very strong chance that he, he will get a grid penalty. Prob probably tr three places for impeding Fernando Alonso in Q2. So uh, don't hold your breath, but I'm pretty sure Vettel will start in P11 tomorrow instead. Um, Yuki Tsunoda, P7, and Gasly, P6. Great result for Alpha Tauri. This is what they want, what they need. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow during the race, they can have a clean start and a clean race. The two Alpha Tauri looking for that strong team result that they did not have since the beginning of the season. Pierre Gasly again at the top of his game, and Yuki Tsunoda really uh, improving a lot in the last few races on his uh, you know mental abilities his uh, approach to the race i think alfatari is in a very great position this weekend to uh, have a strong team result the two mercedes mentioned them briefly uh, will be uh, disappointed to start there and the two cars same pace so it's not uh, it, it's not an issue uh, with the drivers i think it's just the most that he could extract of that car. Sergio Perez in third, um, very good result. Uh, he's been about half a second behind Max Verstappen throughout the whole weekend and even during the race last week. Now getting a very good qualifying lap, only a two tenths of a second behind Max Verstappen. And the fact that he starts in front of the two Mercedes means that they will have the possibility at Red Bull to uh, do different strategies and to, of course, impede the uh, two Mercedes car and especially Lewis Hamilton from making up some ground and getting closer to Verstappen. Lando Norris, best qualifying of his Formula One career, will be delighted with that result. Uh, starting on the front row, 
Honestly, I think there is a, a fair chance that he could take the lead even at the start. Um, both the McLaren and um, the Red Bull starts on the medium tire, and Lando Norris got one of the fastest straight line straight line speed of the whole grid this weekend. Um, so this will be crucial during the opening few laps. I think we can expect a good result from Lando and maybe even a podium looking at uh, the results from qualifying. And Max Verstappen, another pole, this is what he needs. Uh, not the best lap of his life uh, from what he, he said, but uh, the important here is that he starts first like he did last week and hopefully can get another victory and just increase that gap to the Mercedes in the championship. Thank you for watching everyone, remember to smash the like button and to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any update regarding this Austrian Grand Prix or any update regarding this whole 2021 Formula 1 season, which is so far a very, very interesting one. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow on Sunday after the race for the race recap. Have a good day.